गाइस वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आर्किटेक्चर आई एम आर्किटेक्ट फेब्रवी एंड आई मेक कंटेंट रिलेटेड टू आर्किटेक्चर एंड इंटीरियर्स इफ यू आर न्यू हियर प्लीज टेक अ मोमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल बिलो सो इन टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट नाटा ट्वेंटी सिलेबस यू माइट हैव सीन फ्रॉम द थमनेल ऑलरेडी बट इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द सिलेबस इन डिटेल विच इज पार्ट ए एंड पार्ट बी This year also you have two parts like part A which has drawing and composition and part B which is your aptitude exam. So having said all of it, let us discuss about the syllabus of NATA 2025 examination. In the previous year also I have made the same NATA 2024 syllabus and I have covered all the topics which is free for all the students. If you haven't checked that out, please do check it out. I will leave the link somewhere here on the screen. Okay. So having said all of it, now let us dive into today's video. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, we have the syllabus part A and part B for NATA 2025. So let me just give you a brief on these part A and part B. So again this year, you have three questions in part A, drawing and composition. Uh, it will be a test of 90 minutes, okay, and which is in offline mode. Then first question you will have is composition and color. It will be a 2D composition. So make sure you are practicing that. Then A2. Uh, which has your sketching and composition which is almost black and white either you will get an object or you can uh, have the scenario or scene okay then question number three which is 3d composition uh, so basically this is the question they have introduced last year so you will be given a kit wherein you have to make a 3d composition out of that given kit and it is a very easy and scoring question you can really do well in this third question so prepare for composition learn about different compositions okay so you can score really well in that third question then discussing about part b which has mcq and ncq multiple choice question and no choice question this year you will have part b uh, computer based okay which is for 90 minutes and it will have 120 marks in total okay so again we have b1 and b2 type questions this year b1 is 42 questions of MCQ and B2 which has 8 questions which will be of no choice question. So in total you have 200 marks to score. So uh, a best score ranges from like 140 to 160 or you can go above that as well. So as you can see on the screen they have given the detail of part A which is drawing and composition. So composition and color test this section involves creating suitable compositions for various situations, coloring them appropriately. It includes rearranging various shapes in visually appealing manner, coloring them suitably. It is a 2D question, okay? Then A2, sketching and composition, ability to draw, visualize and depict a situation involving buildings and their components, people, environment, products with an understanding of scale, proportion, texture, shades and shadows. Second question can be a scene. Or, or a perspective drawing so you have to be prepared with perspective drawing and then 3d composition creating interesting 3d composition for given suitable provided kit now discussing about the drawing syllabus uh, conceptualization and visualization you have to learn okay then understanding scale and proportion of objects geometric composition shapes building forms elements aesthetics Color texture, harmony, contrast, you have to learn all of these. Then drawing patterns including geometrical and abstract designs. This is not the most asked question, uh, but this question can be asked in your 2D forms. Like you will be given uh, certain shapes like circle, triangle and uh, rectangle and you have to arrange them in a manner that they create a composition. Okay, so you have to be like practicing all of these 2D and 3D compositions. Transformation of forms in 2D and 3D such as union, subtraction, rotation, surfaces and volumes. Then generating planes, elevation, 3D views of objects. So this is one of the important questions. Uh, this can be even asked in MCQ as well. Creating 2D and 3D compositions using given shapes and forms. Perspective, drawing, sketching, urban scape and landscape. Uh, this is a perspective drawing wherein you have four types of perspectives. So learn that i have video on that as well drawing common day-to-day -day life like furniture equipment any object you will get and you have to draw that so make sure you're practicing all of these points okay 
now discussing about mcq visual reasoning uh, you have to understand 2d 3d composition and their technical concepts so basically uh, you know how visual reasoning work so you will be given a particular uh, 2d or 3d shape and you have to make the side elevation or you'll have to select one type of side elevation or front elevation top view of that object okay then logical derivation you will give in a composition or context and generate meaning by understanding minute information or concluding logically then you have gk architecture and design basically it revolves around architecture famous architects famous buildings famous monuments uh, current affairs of this year last year okay uh, globally what is happening uh, in the architectural industry you have to know everything then language interpretation test the ability to correctly and logically generate the meaning of words and sentences and understand english grammar then design sensitivity uh, assesses the ability to observe record analyze people spaces products and environments along uh, with critical thinking reasoning the ability to identify subtle communications then you have design thinking uh, which is the ability to understand some problem identification metaphors definition or analysis of given situation then numerical ability this is a basic mathematics uh, and it is in the association with the creative thinking including the ability to unfold a space with the use of geometry also it includes you know quantitative aptitude or basic math so in the upcoming video we are going to be discussing about the most important topics of nata 2025 uh, and most asked questions of nata 2024 if you have given the first attempt please do let me know um, what type of questions were asked we can discuss in the comment section below and if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section below i can make video on that as well and yes with that we have discussed about nata 2025 syllabus in the coming video we are going to be discussing about nata 2024 most asked questions or uh, most important topics of nata 2025 so please stay tuned for that follow for more updates subscribe for more upcoming videos i'll see you in my next video if you like this video you know the drill please like comment share and do not forget to subscribe to my channel below i'll see you in my next video till then please take care and bye